Hey, this is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home. Uh, quick, a weekly bonus, something I wanted to uh, help you with, and it's called a, a zero threshold policy. <laughs> I build in a southwest corner of Utah. We have a lot of retirement people here, but it's a real popular thing in our area to have a zero threshold policy, meaning no steps anywhere in the house. And so we have a slab on grade home here, and we've got a master bedroom right here. This is the master bathroom. So we are going to box out the master shower before we pour the concrete. We're not going to pour the shower concrete today. We'll do that later. But we're going to box it out. The advantage is that we can have a zero threshold. So when the regular flooring, which will be a luxury vinyl flooring here, it will be able to meet with the tile and the shower at the perfect height. And then we can slope from then down into the drain inside the shower. But in order to do that, a lot of concrete uh, subcontractors do it differently. Arvin, my concrete subcontractor today, he boxes it out first. We cut out the rebar, box it out, and we can deal with this later after we get the slab poured. So we've got a uh, zero threshold for a shower here. We've also got another one way over there with their boxing out right now as we speak. But if you're interested in that, before you pour a slab, if you're doing a slab on, on grade, ask your subcontractor, your concrete subcontractor, can I do a zero threshold or what's called a recessed shower? It's basically what they call it in the trades, a recessed shower. And it's, it's a really, really effective thing. And it's great for walking in the shower because it slopes the minute you walk into the shower and you don't trip over anything. So this is Arvin, my concrete subcontractor. Say hello, Arvin. Hello. <laughs> so anyway, we're building a, a boxing out the shower right now. And they're pouring concrete over here right now. Let's go over and take a look. <clears throat> a couple of things when it comes to concrete is the crew size. <laughs> Uh, a long time ago I made the mistake of hiring a crew and they were like a two-man crew and they couldn't keep up with the work it was just overwhelming about 25 years ago I poured three yards with my dad it's the first concrete pour I did a long time ago and that got beyond us we couldn't manage it we just weren't experienced at it so when it comes to concrete you always want to ask how many is in your crew and if they say we're a three-man crew or a two-man crew and they're going to do a big slab, um, they're, 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 they're barking up the wrong tree. So this here is a seven-man crew, and you need all those hands to really kind of move things in the most efficient way, uh, especially when you, you get ready to power trial it and you got a lot of finished work taking place. If it's a hot day, temperature's really hot, that concrete can sit up on you real quick. So you want to make sure that your subcontractor for concrete has a good crew. So this is Arvin's crew. We've got seven guys on the job right now. They're boxing out the other shower over there. <laughs> Hurry and boxing that out before they get to it. And you'll notice down here where we've got the vents that we put in, the HVAC vents being covered just to the top of the concrete, which is really what you want to see. And we had to pump the concrete today uh, because we couldn't back, get back here with a, with a cement truck. So we're actually pumping it today, which actually makes it easier. Sometimes it's about a six to eight hundred dollar additional fee. Sometimes it could be fifteen hundred, depending upon how long you have that pump truck here. But it makes the job go a lot smoother um, because you've got that concrete being dumped right where you need it. We were here last night until about eleven thirty, and we I had I couldn't sleep because I was worried about maybe one of the vents could have gotten crushed. And so he came out with a camera late last night and shoved it into the vents just to double check. I had a buddy with a camera, he's a plumber. We came in, everything looked clean. And so I was able to sleep, wake up early, and now we're pouring the concrete. It's a perfect day today. It's not too cold, it's not too hot. We wet down the, the dirt before we started pouring the concrete because that concrete wants to dry and it wants to pull moisture from any source it can. And so we wet down the, the pad really, really well. So it's not muddy, but nice and damp. Got our inspection this morning, early this morning. Passed. We're going to pour all this, and we'll be done later this afternoon.